Hi, and welcome to the Business of Being a Virtual Assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 242. Today's topic is afraid to lose. So I just want you to know, if you're watching the video, I have my notes on my phone here. My glasses were so dirty when I hit record, so I just took them off. So you might see me getting my phone closed, but that's what's going on today. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys behind the scenes if you're watching the video. All right, afraid to lose. So as we are developing and shaping and forming and molding our virtual assistant businesses, There comes a point where what you shape, what you mold, the system you create may not fit the clients that are on your roster or that are coming to you. Um, The other uh, night I was having a call with my marketing team and we were talking about our new system. We're creating a whole new system and how we market our uh, virtual hired hand. And she asked me a question um, in regards to a discovery call and discussing price. And I am sticking to the fact that if someone wants us to discuss price on our initial meeting, that's a red flag that they may not be the right client for us. If someone is shopping based on price, we don't want to be selected because we're the cheapest. I get people may want to know, are we within their budget or what have you? However, the first meeting is not the place to discuss it because I'm learning all about them, who they are, what they provide and what they're wanting. That's strictly what that call is about. So um, it occurred to me as I'm asking God, you know, what should I talk about this week? And I wrote down, people are bowing down to client requests because they are afraid to lose. And I understand this. This was me. If a client wanted me to be available at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, can you look at the, start looking at the emails at eight o'clock instead of 10 o'clock? Okay, yes, I can do that. Um, Can you uh, start checking voicemail every day, even on the weekend? Okay, I can do that. Whatever they asked, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Why? Afraid to lose. Afraid to lose a client, afraid to lose business, afraid to lose money. The funny thing, ah, and I'm, I'm, I'm just getting this right now as I'm telling you this. We're afraid to lose money, business, a client. But isn't it funny how we're not afraid to lose ourselves? We're not afraid to lose our dignity. We're not afraid to lose our families. That's messed up. Definitely priorities out of whack. If you're letting your client dictate to you your hours, your structure, your system, your price, your services, your availability, How are you the business owner if they are the ones now shaping and forming and molding your business? It's no longer your business. Think about the last time you agreed to something that you know you should not have agreed to. And you always know when you should have said no. You always know because instantly as soon as you say yes, you're like, oh, I should have said no. Don't be afraid to stick to what you decided for your business, how you decided to approach a system for your business, when you decided to be available, 
When you decided your service, your price, your structure, your system, your hours, when you decided all these things, there's nothing wrong with making adjustments. The problem comes is when we make adjustments because we are afraid to lose. And it's not losing ourselves. It's not about losing our, you know, um, integrity or no, we're, we're, we're afraid of losing. Really, it boils down to afraid of losing the money. Do you know that what you say no to today opens you up to receive the right client that's going to value you, that's going to respect you as a business owner, that's going to honor your boundaries, that's not going to have a problem paying your price. The no you say, no, the thing you say no to today gives room for everything that fits what you mold and what you shaped for your business. That's all I have for you today. Quick and simple. Let's stop being afraid to lose the client, the business, the money. More will come. There's, you know how many people are on the earth? Do you know how much is available to us here on the earth? (laughs) And we are virtual assistant business owners, which means We are not confined by location. I'm not confined to the people in North Carolina. You're not confined to the people in your state, your city, your country. No. The world is huge. Stop being afraid of losing the small stuff. You're way bigger than that. Thank you so much for watching and listening. You have a wonderful and fantastic day.